Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, and we're getting ready for some exciting Region 2A basketball here in Homerville. We have the Clinch County Lady Panthers hosting the Atkinson County Rebels from right up 441 over in Atkinson County. So uh, it's a big rival, used to be for years, and uh, both teams are, which the Panthers have finally got back up uh, to where they used to be in Atkinson. They're headed in that direction. They have a young team, got a lot, a lot of girls on their squad, so uh, it ought to be a interesting game here. We a uh, pretty good crowd. Uh, for a Monday night here in Homerville. School will start back Wednesday. So the students have one more night to stay up late. We're getting ready. They're fixing to announce the starters and I'm gonna step back while they do that. All right, they're just starters for Atkinson. Now here come the clinch starters here. That's Titshaw, Luck, Rawls, Newsom, and Johnson for Atkinson. your starters for the Clinch County Panthers. That's uh, Zy Johnson, Angel McCray, Small, Wesley, and West. So uh, the Clinch County Lady Panthers come in, I think, with an 8-1 record, maybe. Atkinson County's, I think they've won a couple games, two and six, a lot of games over the Christmas tournament. Some uh, some teams don't claim them, the other ones do on wins and losses. So uh, we're getting ready for the tip off. Angel will be tipping off for the Clinch County Panthers and she'll be going off uh, tipping against Johnson. Referee says, we ready? We're getting ready for the tip off. Coach Chase has his girls ready and here we go. Good job by Angel, and it hit the small right back to Angel up and in. Two to nothing. Coach Chase is gonna press them right out the gate. Angel will knock it out of bounds. That press has worked good for the Panthers this season. Axon trying to get the ball in. They finally get it in. They get it to number four, that's Rawls. She'll have it stole down to Zai. Zai will turn it over. Johnson has it. She's going to throw it, and it'll go out of bounds. So he clinches ball. Wesley will bring it in. She'll give it up to Zai. Down to West. Wesley looking back to Zai. Trying to get it down low. Axon doing a pretty good job to stuff it down low. West starts, she's going to pull up a jumper. Good rebound in there by Luck. She'll push it down the court for the Rebels. She'll bring it back out now. Two to nothing, Clinch County leads here early in game one. Game two will be right after this, around eight o'clock. Oh, almost down there, Johnson trying to get it. Good job, West to run the ball down. He give it up to Wesley. She drives it all the way up and in. Clinch jumps right back in that press. They got her trapped. She done a good job to get it. Uh, Titchell got it away. She'll slow it down now. Axon needing a basket. There's a long three, good job by Wesley out there to reject it. And she'll pass it all the way down to Zai. 
Good rebound by Angel up and in. Six to nothing now, clinch leads, and that's gonna give us a quick timeout, so we'll take a quick break and be right back. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Back to Creek Box TV. We are live here in Homerville with the Lady Panthers leading the Axon County Lady Rebels six to nothing in the first. Good job by Wesley. She'll knock it back out of bounds. Panthers coach Chase is keeping them in a press. Axon having trouble getting the ball in. Finally, they'll get it out to four. That's Rawls. Oh, and she'll lose it. Luck will, and there'll be a backcourt violation, so the Panthers will have another turnover. Wesley's going to bring it in. She'll give it up to Zy Johnson. Zy's looking. Oh, she get it to West. Zy was going to try to drive in and lost the ball a little bit. She recovers good, good pass by Wesley down there to McCray, up and in. Six points tonight for Angel. Eight to nothing, Panthers lead. Oh, we're gonna have a foul, and that's gonna be on Angel, number two. That'll be the first foul of the game. Oh, good job, man, Small knocked it away and tried to get it. Almost got a good steal. Here come the Rebels trying to get it to half court. Man, the Panthers playing great defense tonight. Just smothering. That's Titchell tried to knock it away from McCray, but she recovers. And Johnson, a long three off the back of the rim. Titchell with the rebound for the Rebels. Finally, they get it across half court. Oh, man, and uh, Luck will be called a double dribble, so it is another Atkinson turnover. Wesley will bring it in now for the Panthers. Johnson with the balls. Eight to nothing here, all halfway through the first. Another turnover, the Rebels had it. Panthers get it right back. Oh, Zai trying to drive in there. Great move, she's gonna be fouled. And that's gonna be number two, and that's gonna be on Titchell. That'll be her first foul tonight. Zai at the free throw line. She usually doesn't miss. Here comes shot number two on the way. Oh, and it bounces out. Oh, a good steal in there by Angel and another basket. Eight points already for Angel. 12 to nothing, Panthers lead. They stay in that press, there's another. Oh, and that's gonna be called on Zai. So that'll be her first foul. She was hustling down the court to get the ball and kind of leaned in on her a little bit. Rebels bring it in. Panthers playing great defense tonight. Did y'all with the ball for the Rebels. Good job by Wesley. There's another block in there by Angel. Now nope, we're gonna have a uh, traveling, so that'll be a turnover. I think it's Rebels ball. Mm, Newsom will bring it in for the Rebels. Looking, trying to get it to 55. Good steal by Angel. 
and Johnson for Atco will knock it out of Angel's hand, but it's Panthers ball. Here comes Zai, pushed it down the court to Angel. Down low to Small, Small, turn around, jump shot. And she'll miss, and it's gonna go out of bounds as Rebels ball. Clinch staying in that press, man. They've done a great job tonight. There you go, Axon gets it across. And we have another walk there. She got tripped up, that was Rawls. And she'll turn it over and here come the Panthers. Angel with the ball, getting it down low to Small. Turn a great move by Small. She'll drive in, she'll draw the foul. Good job, she got her up in the air and dribbled around her. And that foul is gonna be on number five, that's Newsom. I'm sorry, 55, Johnson. Axon's gonna bring in another player, that's 15, that is Rawell, Claudia, number 15. Second shot on the way, Small. Up and in, good job by Small. They stay back in that press. Rebels trying to get past it. Good steal by West. Oh, since she went back court, the ball didn't, but uh, she had a foot that went back court. Coach Chase seen that too. Hey, uh, Coach Chase is arguing it. They're not going 13 to nothing. They're not going to give him that one. He was right though. Good pass down there to Claudia. She'll put it up and in. First basket for the Rebels tonight. 13 to two. Here comes Clinch now to get it down low to Angel. Man, good job by the Rebels to steal it. That was Rawl, stole it. Angel will knock it out of bounds down there. Great defense by the Rebels. And they'll keep possession of the ball. Newsom will bring it in. They get it to Titchell Long. Three off the backboard up and in. Good shot. Up and in. Great job, that was Angel, I think. 15 to five, I'm right now. There's another steal by Zai. Up and in. 17-5 now. Rebels trying to get past, here they come. Finally get it down the court. Mm. Setting a play up now, there's another long three up and in, good job. That was uh, Rawls that time, number four. Here come the Panthers, Rebels make it 17 to eight now, they're clawing back in it. Yeah, Coach Chase is gonna make a sub. He's gonna bring Grady in the game. Along with, I'm trying to see Wells. Wells is in the game for the Panthers. There's a steal by Zion. Oh! She was trying to get it right back to Angel. Got to get rid of it. She needs some help. Oh! They're gonna call that on Zai. Zai was right there, she turned around. If she didn't do nothing, she's just in the wrong place. That'll be foul number two on Zai. And that's gonna get us a quick timeout, so we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. All right, good evening everyone. Welcome back to Creekbox TV. I'm Alan Hanley, along here with my buddy Daniel. 
We got the film going up. He's busy on the computer, and we're watching some great basketball. Scores 17 to 8 here. The Rebels, it was just 15 to nothing. They've come back and scored eight. Finally settling down a little bit. There's another three by the Rebels. She'll overshoot that one. Good rebound. Up and in. Good job in there by number four. Five points for Rawls. Coach Chase is going to get a quick timeout. I think it's a 30-second timeout, so we'll just stay right here. Uh, good crowd. We got a bunch of people coming in for a Monday night. Coach Chase coaching them up. We got Cynthia Gray that helped Coach Gray. She also coaches the JV. They had a big win and against Axon here before the varsity played. And J.D. Gwynn also helped Coach Chase. And he ought to be headed back to the house. I think he's been up in Alaska over the holidays. So they should be getting close back to South Georgia. So here we go, the Panthers have possession. Wesley will bring it in and she'll give it up to Grady. 17 to 10 now. Rebels have fought back. They get it out to Wales. We, oh, said she traveled, so that's another Panther turnover. So here come the Rebels. Panthers still up by 10, 17 to, to, still up by seven, 17 to 10. There's a steal by Wesley. She's pushing it down the court, all the way. Good rebound in there by Angel, up and in. 12 points for Angel tonight, 19 to 10. Here come the Rebels, there's a long three off the rim. Small does a great job to get the rebound. Wesley will slow it down now. She'll give it up to Grady. Grady's going to set it up. Wells to Angel. Wesley's looking. Passing the ball around. Milking some of this clock. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. There's Angel. Three people come down to get her. She still turned around. Oh! Off wet. No, it'll be Panther ball. They said Titshaw knocked it out of bounds. Wells had it. Panthers still keep possession. Angel back to Wesley. Turn around, jump shot off the front of the rim. Wells fighting for the ball. She'll knock it out to Angel. Panthers keep possession. 30 seconds to go here in the first now. Rebels come out, tightening up their defense. Grady with the ball now. Small with it. She's going to dribble in. Nope, they said she double dribble. 18 seconds to go in the first. Rebels started out slow, but they're fighting him, bringing it back, clawing it in. They've hit two big threes down here. Oh, I thought Rawls was going to take it then. Three drives in, and she traveled. 4.3 seconds to go in the first. Oh, uh, we got a do-over called. Referee's talking to the clock. Brian, Brian down there. On the clock. 43, he's trying to put 4.3 seconds on there. He's going to run off 40 seconds. It's going to be hard for him to stop it exactly on 4.3. <laughs> Brian's a good boy, man. His sister is Zy Johnson. Uh, his mama's Doreen. They, uh, she's in there working in the concession. So if y'all are here, Watching on your phone or just want to come get a good hot dog. Go see Red, Miss Edwards, and Margie and all of them at the concession. They can hook you up with something good to eat. All right. Let's see if he's going to hit it on 4.3. Dog, he went by. <laughs> hey, now 3.9. 
And I think it, they, they said, well, let's, we're not going to try that again. We'll just leave it at that. He stops it now, two seconds. Long three by Angel off the back of the rim. That's going to get be the end of the first quarter with the Panthers leading 19-10, to 10, and we'll be right back. Camping World of Eldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. Roadside assistance and travel assist for one year. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. All right, everyone, welcome back here to Homerville. Creek Box TV, we got a basketball game that's heating it up. There's a good drive down there, 55 will put it up. That's Johnson for Atkinson, 19 to 12. Rebels started out slow, but they're picking it up now. Panthers have went cold. There's Wells, turn around, jump shot, up and in. 21-12, Panthers jump right back into the press. Got to get it in. Good job by the coach, he's gonna call a timeout. I think, nope, they got him with the five second violation. So the Panthers have possession. It was a turnover by the Rebels. He tried to get a timeout. Zai with the ball now, she has two fouls, she'll lose it. Oh, and they're going to say she traveled, so doesn't matter. Axon was going to get the ball anyway, so Rebels have it. They get it in. Luck with the ball. She gets across half court now. Oh, hard pass. Rawls couldn't, couldn't hold. There's just a little too much on it, went out of bounds. Panthers have the ball again. 21-12, clinch over Atkinson. Come the Panthers. They get it down low to Angel, turn around, jump shot. A little too hard, Zai with the rebound, back up and in. 23-12 now, oh! Another Rebel turnover, good defense down here by West for the Panthers. Wesley will bring the ball in. Panther get it in the Zai. You're gonna set the offense back up. Wesley back to Wales. Trying to get it down low. Good job by Angel. Get it. Zai will drive. Little layup up and in. 25-12 now. Panthers, the man, there's another throwaway. Great job by Wales to keep the ball from being brought in. Rebels here, like four or five turnovers right in a row. They had got back within seven. Long three by Zai off the rim. Good rebound by Angel. 55 will strip it, that is Johnson. Long pass to Titchell. Back, oh! Good rebound in there by number three. That was luck. We got a foul, let's see what's on. 14 white, that's gonna be Wesley. That'll be her first foul. And that's gonna put Luck at the free throw line. First one, oh, in and out. It went every way but in. Shot number two on the way for Luck. Up and in. 
25-13 now, Panthers lead. Here comes Zai. Give it back out. Small, small trying to get it down low. Great defense in there by Johnson for Atco. Oh, God. great defense by Angel. She had to block and stepped on the line. Rebels keep possession. Newsom will bring it in. Angel kicked the ball, so they'll, Rebels keep possession again. Rebels get it in. Double dribble will be the call on Luck. Just started the second quarter here in Homerville with the Lady Panthers 25 and uh, Lady Rebels 13. Panthers moving it around. Oh, I took her eyes off the ball just a second. She recovers and drives up and in. Good job, Zai. Eight straight points now, 27-13. Another Rebel turnover. 5.25 to go here in the second. Lady Panthers stay in that press, man. They're making it hard for the Rebels. Step back jump shot by Angel. And oh, man, great rebound by Johnson in there for the Rebels, but she took an extra step. So it's another Rebel turnover. Turn around by Small, she'll miss it. Angel with the rebound. We got Frankie watching at the house. Watching some Panther basketball and probably eating dessert by now. The Rebels will get the rebound. They're going to push it down court all the way to Titshaw. Oh, just a little hard. They'll get the rebound, though. Uh, Rawls tried to put it up and in. We got a foul on number two. That's Angel, and that'll be foul number two on her. Rawls has five points tonight for the Rebels. First shot off the back of the rim. <laughs> shot number two on the way. Up and in, good job by Rawls. Six points for her tonight. Cut the lead back to 13. Zai setting up the offense for the Panthers now. Back to Zai. Good passing by the Panthers tonight. Jump shot. Oh, and we got a foul. Number two. And that's going to be Titshaw, and that's going to be her second foul. And that's going to put Zai back at the free throw line. First shot on the way up and in. Second shot. Oh, a little short. 28-14 now, clinch leads. Titshaw bringing it down for the Rebels. She'll give it up to Luck. Luck will drive, misses the layup. Rebound in there by Big 55. She tries to put it up and in. We got a foul. 55. That's gonna be foul number two on Newt, on uh, Johnson. Wells will bring it in for Clinch. She'll give it up to Zai. Zai pushing it down the court, setting up the offense. They get it down to Small, turn around. Good move by Small. Oh, man, they said she traveled. Boy, that's a pretty play she's got going down there. She's hit that a couple of times tonight. 
Rebels have the ball. They'll get it in to Luck. Luck will give it up to Rawls. Rawls trying to use the back. Luck with the rebound. And that's going to be Grady with the foul for the Panthers. That'll be her first foul. That's going to put Luck back on the free throw line. First one up and in. Second shot up and in. Good job by Luck. 28-16 now. Clinch leads Atkinson. Three and a half to go in the second. Remind everybody, stick around. We have the boys playing right after this. Oh, he's trying to set it up to small down low. Here comes Luck. Oh, she'll miss it. Zai, jump ball. Let's see if that's what they call Yep, jump ball. Luck and Johnson fighting over the ball. She missed Luck, missed the layup. Got her own rebound, or half of it anyway. Here comes Zai, pushing it down the court again. Both teams, been a while since we had a basket. Other than a free throw, there's another steal. Good job in there by Rawls, up and in. Rawls with eight points tonight for the Rebels. 28-18, they cut it to 10 now. That happened earlier in the first. The Lady Panthers jumped out to a 12 to nothing lead and the Rebels fought back. Doing the same thing here. Thiel pull up just inside the three-point line and hits it. 30 to 18 now, clinch leads. They'll jump right back in the press. Got to get it in. They'll get it into Luck. And they'll say that's on Zai. And that's going to be foul number three on Zai. See what Coach Chase is going to set her down. You don't want to get that fourth one right here in the first half. West is going to check in now. They're going to set Wells back down, give her a break. Free throw on the way. Good job in there by number three, and that is Luck. Second free throw on the way. Off the edge of the rim, rebound in there by Grady. Angel with the ball. She pull, drives all the way, tries to use the backboard. Good rebound in there by Grady. Finally, they call the jump ball. Possession will go to Akko. 30 to 19, Clinch leads Axon. Panthers stay in a press. Rebels get it across. Good dribbling in there by Luck. Keep control of it. Let's see what we got here. Double dribble on Luck. That'll be a Rebel turnover. Two eleven to go in the second. Got a good crowd in here, man. For Monday night, it's getting loud. Here's Angel with the ball. She'll give it up to Grady. Small back out to Wesley. Angel with a long three. Oh! And it has stuck up there, and I don't know anybody can jump up there. And Angel probably could or small. Carrie, go get the ball from unstuck. <laughs> They won't nobody laugh. You can't get it. <laughs> they get it undone. I was hollering at Kerry Kite. He can stand on his toes and about knock it out. <laughs> he said that too many years went by. I know what he's talking about. Panthers with possession. Rebels are going to get a quick timeout, so we'll take a break, and we'll be back in just a second. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. 
Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, Easy Go, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. We're back here live in Clinch County. Welcome to Creek Box. We know we got Frankie Casey out there watching. Laid back in that recliner with his Florida Gator pajamas on. All right, All right Clinch with the ball. The Panthers are in white. Akko is in red. Pull up jumper by Small. Rebound in there by Grady. Oh, and they're going to call that on Small. 12, and that's going to be her first foul, though. You got a lot of Panthers. You got Zy with three. Uh, Angel with two. Wesley with one. Grady with one. And Small with one. There's a rebound by Angel. 135 to go in the first half. Good pass by Angel down to Wesley. She'll put it up and in. Four points tonight for Wesley. 32-19, Panthers lead now. Luck with the ball for the Rebels. Trying to get it down low. Good defense by the Panthers. Wesley will steal the ball. She'll give it up to Angel. She's going to push it all the way. And Panthers will knock it out of bounds. Rebels ball. Thirty-two, nineteen, one oh nine to go in, in the first half. Come the Rebels back again. Luck with the ball. She's gonna dribble all the way and trying to get it down to fifty-five. That is Johnson. And that's gonna be small. She hadn't had a foul now. She back to back foul. That'll give her two. She don't need to pick up that third one right here with under a minute to go. That's gonna put Johnson at the free throw line for the Rebels. Oh, first one just does miss. Second free throw on the way. Off the back of the rim. Good rebound in there by Angel. And they're going to call that foul on Luck, number three. That'll be her first foul. Here come the Panthers. Grady with the ball for Clinch. My Ma, give it up to West, down to Small, back to Grady. She'll drive in, use the backboard, up and in. My Ma with the basket. 38 seconds now. 34-19, clinch lead. Luck, there's another three by the Rebels. That's going to come up short. The Rebels will claw back within 10, and the Panthers will get on the run and add... Bump it back up to 16. It's been that way all night. My, my, with the ball now. She'll give it up to Wesley. Good save. Good hustle by the Panthers. West looking. 12 to go in the first half now. My, my, with the ball. Looking under 10 now. Seven. They get it to Angel. She'll drive and she'll miss, but she'll draw the foul. See who that one's on. On number 15. And that's uh, Claudia. So that'll be her first foul. Got to put Angel at the free throw line. In and out. Mm. 
Angel has 12 points this half. Second shot on the way. Off the backboard, up and in. 35-19 now, four, two, one. Long three by the Rebels, just miss. That's gonna get us to halftime with the clinch leading action, 35 to 19. Me and Daniel's going to get a hot dog. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Winky's Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winky's will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering delicious hot and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. You're watching Sports on Creekbox TV. And then along came Walker Jones. 
you know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim, coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. Camping World of Valdosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Winky Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winkies will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers!
For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. All right, good evening everyone. Welcome back to Creek Box. I'm Alan Hanley, along here with my buddy Daniel, and we bring you some great girls basketball. Region 2A, fixing to start the third quarter with Clinch leading Axton 35 to 19. I need to get my point total. Let's see, Zai ended up with 6, 10, 11 first half points. Angel had 13 first half points for Clinch. And going down here, Wesley had four. Two. Small with one. She's played some great defense, though. Let's see what Axon. Five, seven, eight. Raya Rawls has eight points for the Rebels. She's the leading scorer. With Luck has four. Titchell with a three-pointer. Here we go, the Rebels with the ball. There's another long three by Titchell up and in. That's her second one of the game. Just said she had a three, she hits another one. 35-22 now. West with the ball. She'll give it out there to Johnson. Three up and in. Good job by Zai. First three-point shot for the Panthers tonight. Here come the Rebels. Luck bringing it down the court. She'll give it up to Raya Rawls. Titchell thought about taking it again. She'll give it back to Luck. Drives. Good rebound in there by Angel. She'll give it up to Zai all the way to basket. Up and in. 16 tonight for Zai. 40-22 now. Clinch leads Atkinson. About time for the Rebels to make that run. There's another three. Up and in. Good job in there by Newsom. Mm. Panthers with the ball now. Get it down low to Small. She's going to turn around. She tries to put it on the court. Rebound by Angel. Let's see who that's on. Hope it ain't on 55. Nope, it's going to be on three. That's going to be Luck. That'll be her second foul tonight. I'm going to put Angel at the free throw line. You're getting ready. Shot number one on the way off the back of the rim. She'll miss it. Second shot on the way. Up and in, good job by Angel. She has 14 tonight. Here come the Rebels. Want to remind everybody, stick around. Right after this, we'll take about a 20 minute break and the boys will play. Ah, oh, we got a travel there on Rawls. Be a Rebel turnover, Panthers with the ball. Zai has three fouls tonight. Angel turn around, jump shot, up and in. 43-25 now. Luck will give it up. They get it down to Titchell. Good defense by the Panthers. Great save in there by Newsom. Trying to get it down low to 55 to Johnson. Rebels can't get it. Here come the Panthers. Zai will give it up to West. Back to Zai, there's a long three up and in by Zai. Our second one tonight. 46-25 now, Panthers lead. Luck, give it up to Johnson, trying to get it. 
We got a foul. That's going to be on West, I'm afraid. Yep, 21. That'll be West's first foul. Rebels keep possession. West will take a break. Wales will come in four. Oh. Wesley, they're going to call that on Wesley. That'll be her second foul. I don't know what it called. Good job by Wells. She'll steal the inbound. What's this on? I guess he said five second violation, I guess. I don't know what the call was there. Here come the Panthers. They have the ball anyway. They're driving back down the court. Wells with the ball. She'll give it back to Wesley. Angel back out. Design another three off the back of the rim. She'll finally miss one. Here come the Rebels now. Number four drives all the way in, in and out. It wouldn't fall four. That was Rawls. Angel all the way, oh, layup, it won't fall for her. Both teams run up and down the court. Rebels are gonna bring 33 in the game and that is English for the Rebels. All right, here comes Atkinson. They push it down the court, they're setting it up. Back to Titshaw. A long three, she'll overshoot it, and that's going to go off Newsom's hands. So it'll be Clinch's ball. Zai with the ball. Oh, Panthers are going to get back court. Wesley lost it. It bounced off her foot, and it rolled all the way back down the court. The Rebels will have possession again. Coach Chase is going to sub another one. He'll let Wesley sit down. And he'll bring Grady in. Atkinson's going to drive in. Good job by Wells with the block. Zai takes it all the way to the basket up and in. Ten points this half for Zai. So she's got 21 tonight. 48-25 now. Clinch leads Atkinson. Rawls trying to drive, and they'll say she walked. Another turnover. Grady will bring the ball in for Clinch. They get it down to Angel. Turn around, jump shot. Off the rim. Good rebound by Small. Put back. She'll miss it. Here comes Atkinson now. Titshaw driving the ball. She lost it. Small will get it. Oh, Zai stepped on the ball. Lucky she didn't turn her ankle. Angel drives and she'll put it up and in. 18 tonight for Angel. 50 to 25 now. Biggest lead of the night for Clinch. Long three by Titshaw off the back of the rim. Small, long arm. She'll get up and snatch it out there. Angel gives it up to Grady. Good defense who calls that. That was Rawls. Just made her put a little bit more on the shot than she wanted to. And clinch it, keep possession. She might have got a piece of it. Wells will bring it in. She'll give it up to Angel. Back to Wells, and she walked. I don't think she was expecting the pass. Here comes the Rebels now. Titshaw bringing it down the court for the Rebels. And a long three up and in. Good shot there by number four. That's going to be her second three tonight. 
She has 11 for the Rebels tonight. 50-28 now, clinch leads. Wells will take a three in and out. Small had it. Wells get, will get it. She'll put it back up. Another rebound by Wells. Let's see what happens. We got a push on number two. I guess that's going to be Angel. That'll be foul. Number two on Angel. No, three on Angel. Coach Chase getting ready to sub. Well, she's going to put Walker in for clinch. There's another long three off the rim. They're going to call that on Wells, I think, on her back. 15. And that's going to be her first. Usually as aggressive as she is, she has three or four by this time. Angel will sit down with three fouls. Good job by the Panthers. Wales will step in front of it and steal it. She'll give it up to Grady. My, my, all the way to basket up in the end. Mm, four points tonight for Grady. Luck with the ball for the Rebels now. Another long three in and out. Wales with the rebound. She'll give it up to Zai. Zai, get... Turn around, in and out. Oh, and that's going to be on my, my. Number three. Yep. That'll be her foul number two on Grady. Rebels are bringing in a sub. Simpson, number 22, comes in for the Rebels. Titshaw will sit down and take a break. Here come the Rebels now. They need a basket down here. Luck has it. She'll drive in, trying to use the backboard. Good job. Walker tips it over to Wales. Grady with the ball. She got tied up. Going to be a foul on number five for the Rebels, and that's going to be foul number one on Newsom. 52-28. Minute 20 to go in the third. First shot on the way for Grady, up and in. Small will take a break. West will come back in for her for clinch. Second shot, up and in. Good job by Grady. Four points tonight. No, I'm sorry, six points tonight for Grady. Trying to get it down low. Good job by West. Jump ball. Man, she got up, tipped it. Her and uh, Claudia were fighting over it. They're going to call a jump ball, and Clinch has possession. So here come the Panthers. I give it up to Wales. They get it to Walker. Turn around, jump shot at the free throw line. Up and in. Her first basket tonight. 56-28. Axon trying to drive in. Clint, she'll miss the basket or go out to West. Good job by West not to try to get it. 44 seconds to go in the third. Let's see what Clinch is going to do. They're trying to get it down low to West. Turnover Wales trying to get it to her. Throw it out of bounds. Rebels are going to set Claudia down. And they're bringing in Rawls. She got a good break, a couple of minutes. She's played hard tonight for the Rebels. She'll bring the ball down. Back to her, she's going to set up with a long three off the edge of the rim. Good rebound by Luck. Turn around. Block in there by Walker, and it'll go out of bounds. Rebels keep it with 19 seconds to go in the third. Luck with it now. Oh, good save by Rawls. Another long three off the edge of the rim. 
Good job by West. She'll snatch you up there and get the rebound. Here comes Zai. She'll pull up at the free throw line, up and in. Two, one, that's gonna get us to the fourth quarter. Clinch leading Atkinson, 58-28. We'll be back in just a second. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're starting the fourth quarter, and instead of eight minutes, we're going to move it to six minutes. Clinch up by 30, and that's the rule GHSA has. Oh, I got to give a shout out to all our sponsors here in a second. Uh, Coach Chase and the Lady Panthers played a great game tonight. Up by 30. Rebels. To get it out to Rawls, a high three off the rim. Walker with the rebound for Clinch. Here comes Zai pushing it down. She'll pull up, slow it down now. They give it up to Grady. Back to West. Zai looking across all the way to Grady. Oh, Walker trying to get a good job by Angel. Walker trying to get the rebound. Angel jumps up and get it, and she'll put it right back up for a basket. 60-28 now. Angel with 20. Long three by Titshaw, and it'll go out of bounds. Somebody kicked the ball out of bounds over there. <laughs> Went in the bathroom, I think. <laughs> uh, fixing to go under five minutes. Here comes the Panthers again. Grady down to Walker. Turn around jump shot off the rim. Good save by Zai. Rebels will get it though. Rawls dribbles out of it. She'll give it up to Luck. Back out to Rawls, another long three off the back of the rim. Good rebound in there by Newsom. There's a three, good job in there by Newt. Yeah, that was Newsom that shot that. Her second tonight. West will dribble to the basket, trying to use the backboard, a little too much on it. Here come the Rebels now. Luck will pull it up and she'll come back out front. Nope, she decides to go back in. Oh, and they call that on Angel. That's going to be foul number four on Angel. Tucker will come in the game now. They'll set Zy down. And we have, I'm trying to see, 13 will come in the game for the Panthers. And I've got to get 13's jersey. I don't have it. Tucker with the ball now. She'll push it down the court. Tucker has the ball back. She'll give it up to West. West will drive in. Pulls up. She'll draw the foul. See who that one's on. 55. It's gonna be foul number three on Johnson. That's going to put West at the free throw line. Oh, in and out. Just off the front, the back, the side, it bounced out. Found uh, shot number two on the way. Off the edge of the rim. Luck with the rebound. Go, 
Another three. She'll come up short on that tit shot with the rebound. Another three. Up and in. That's going to be number four, and that'll be her third three tonight. You got to have 14 for the Rebels tonight. 60 to 36, Panthers lead. Grady drives in, pulls up off the back of the rim. She'll get her own rebound back up and in. Grady has eight tonight. Here come the Rebels. They've been shooting a lot of threes now. Trying to have Titshaw, another long three off the edge. West with the rebound. She's going to come all the way. Almost lost the ball. She ended up losing it. Wells will come in for West. Oh, we're going to have a quick timeout, so we'll run a, do a quick break, and we'll come right back. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes, and remember, we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. You're watching Back Road Sports on Creekbox TV. All right, we're back here live in Homerville with the Lady Panthers leading the Axon County Rebels 62 to 36. Under three minutes to go in the game now. Let's uh, see, double dribble, so that'll be a turnover and Clinch will have the ball. Tucker will bring it in bound for the Panthers. She'll give it up to Grady. Back to Tucker. Panthers moving it around. Tucker's going to get it down low to Wells. Turn around, jump shot. They're going to call that on 21. That's going to be her first foul. And that is Edmonds. Wells is going to sit down and take a seat. She's done for the night. Long three by the Panthers. She'll come up short. That was number 13. I do not have that jersey uh, name for that jersey number. I'll have to get that from Coach Chase here after the game. Coach Chase doing a great job. He's got all young kids in now. Another Rebel turnover. Rebels struggled early in the game. The Panthers jumped out to double-digit lead. He pressed there in the first quarter, and it was like 15 to nothing for the Rebels scored. But they hung around and fought back two or three times. This last time, it's just they've run out of gas. Oh, she'll save it. Good save over there by number 33, and that is English for the Rebels. Uh, we're going to have a foul on number 13 for Clinch. 155 to go in the game. We want to remind everybody, stick around. We'll start game two just as quick as they let us. That's going to put 33 English on the free throw line. We got one tie in our shoe. That was Bailey tying her shoe. First free throw off the back of the rim. Good job by 22 to get the rebound. That is Simpson. Simpson will put it up, overshot it. Grady with the rebound for the Panthers. Here comes Clinch. Grady was trying to take it all the way. And we got a time, yep. Panthers, nope, no timeout. Panthers have possession. 
Tucker brings it in to Grady. She overshoots. Rebound by the Rebels. Minute and a half to go in the game. Rebel, she'll drive in. Oh, she had an open shot. Grady with the rebound. My, my, oh, a little too much on the pass. She had her out there. She just got a little too much on it. Let her. I'm saying about six inches too far. Number 30 is coming in the game. That's young for the Rebels. We also have number five in for Clinch. And that is Joyce in for the Panthers. Fixing to go under a minute here in the game. There's a long three off the rim. Walker fighting for the rebound. She'll end up with it. Good job. She'll give it up to Joyce. Joyce. Double dribble. Yep. 22 slapped it. Simpson slapped it out of her hand. Then she grabbed it and she didn't lose it. Just enough to call a double dribble. All right, here come the Rebels. 50 seconds to go in the game. Oh, good. Walker was turned around trying to see it come off the rim. Rebels put it up and in. 62-38 now. Oh, Joyce with the ball. She'll give it back up to Grady. She'll pull up. Off the backboard, up and in. 10 points tonight for Grady. Under 30 seconds to go in the game. Here come the Rebels. Oh, and they'll throw it out of bounds with 16 seconds to go. Well, it's 64 to 38 here. Looks like the Lady Panthers are going to come away. They've only lost once tonight, or once this season, excuse me. Remind everybody we'll be back on the air tomorrow for some more girls basketball. Clinch travels to Statenville over in Eccles County, and that game will come on at 6. And then we'll have the boys right after it. That's going to wind it up for the girls here tonight with Clinch winning 64-38. to I want to thank our sponsors before we take our break. And that's Winkies, Popeyes and Dairy Queen, Lutz Brown, Lee Engineering, Homerville Jewelers, Mike's Golf Carts, Walker Jones Nissan. You go over to Walker Jones and mention you Creek Box and you get $500 off any vehicle. Camping World of Valosta, same thing. Mention Creek Box, you get $500 off your purchase of a new camper. Burt CPA, Jerry J's, Hog and Bones, and Huey's One Stop Pizza, 912-487-2338. You got time to call right now, and they'll have your pizza ready before 8 o'clock. All right, we're going to take a quick break and come back and watch some boys basketball. Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced, professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim. Coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. 
Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. Roadside assistance and travel assist for one year. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Winky's Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winky's will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. 
Go Panthers! Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. And then along came Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim, coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. 
Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Winky Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winkies will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. And then a Lonky Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim. Coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. everyone welcome back to creek box tv i'm alan hanley we're live here in homerville for game number two the clinch county panthers will be hosting the atkinson county rebels uh, it's always a good game when these two face off in region 2a uh, both teams come in struggling a little bit over the holidays panthers having to, they played toe to toe with Wilcox the other night. Depth just got them. So we're gonna see if we can get a little bit better tonight. So they're getting the starting ro uh, roster lineup for the Rebels number three. 22, 32. That's Brown, Northcutt, Myers, Williams, and Powell. Them will be your five starters for the Rebels. Here come the Panthers. Talbert, number one. Ingram, number four. Robbins, number 12. Nixon, number 15. 
So there's your starting lineup for the Panthers. So we're getting ready for tip-off. This game was scheduled to start at eight, but we get to start a little bit early as uh, Clinch County beat Axon County in game one during the girls' contest. 68 to 38, I think, was the final. Both teams, uh, uh, Clinch probably 15 for Clinch. That would be Nixon. He's probably the tallest man on the court. Good 6'5". Not too much taller than uh, Powell there for the Rebels. All right, let's play some basketball. Throw it up. The Rebels will win the tip. Mm. Williams with the ball, he'll give it up to 24. That is Powell. Back to Williams. Rebels passing it around. Williams pull up. In and out. Good rebound in there by big man down low. And he'll put it up and in. That's 22. That is North Cut. Here come the Panthers. Talbert pulls up at the free throw line. In and out, oh, that's going to roll off number Williams' foot right there for the Rebels, so the clinch will have possession. Robbins will bring it in. Nixon will throw it, and it'll go out of bounds again on the Rebels, so Robbins will bring it back in again. He'll throw it down deep to Talbert. Tober to bring it up. He'll get it out to Ingram. Ingram will take it all the way to the basket. We got to have a foul on number 24. That is Powell. That'll be his first foul, first foul of the game. That's going to put Ingram on the free throw line for Clinch. Clinch County is coached by Coach Terrence George. You got Coach Tad Pole down there helping him. Trying to look from other sheet here. All right, Ingram makes his first one. Two to one now. Shot number two up and in. Here come the Rebels now. Number, get it down low again. The North cut, and he'll dribble in and put it back up. Four points for Northcutt. Four to two, Axon leads. Talbert driving, good block in there by Northcutt. No, that was Powell on the block. The Rebels have possession. Brown will bring the ball in for the Rebels. All the way across the court, back to Brown. Williams with the ball. Long shot, it wasn't a three though. Yes it was, it was a three, excuse me. And that was Myers. Seven to four now, Clinch coming right back down the court and hit a basket. Good hustle in there by the big man Northcutt. Another three, out here by number three, Brown again. Back to back. Ten to four now, Rebels lead. Good, also that's Jeremiah, he'll drive, puts, oh, in and out, trying to get the three point play. 24. Oh man, that's foul number two already on Powell for the Rebels. That'll put Jeremiah Williams on the free throw line. First shot up and in by Jeremiah. Second one on the way. Up and in. 10 to six, Rebels lead the Panthers. Here come the Rebels. Brown been hot over here in three-point land. 
Good, they get it at the free throw line, off the backboard, in and out. Robbins with the rebound for Clinch. Talbert with the ball now. He's gonna dribble in. Couldn't get enough on it. We have a foul, let's see who that one's on. 22 on Rebels and that's Northcutt. Hit first foul tonight. That'll put Talbert at the free throw line for Clinch. That's gonna be the tail for both teams. Whoever gets in foul trouble is gonna be in trouble. Talbert will miss his first one. Second shot off the end. Good rebound in there by number two, Williams, for the Rebels. Rebels looking. Oh, Brown. He'll get it. No, no backcourt. He tipped it. We got a Coach Terrence is arguing. It was tipped, but the other referee has to call on that. It's Clinch's ball, 10 to six. Coach Terrence was all over that call. Talbert trying to get it down low to 15. Nixon, good defense in there by the Rebels. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Here come the Rebels back. Powell with the ball, he'll give it up to Brown. Northcutt with the ball. Getting it down low to 32 off the backboard, up and in by Myers. 12 to six now, Rebels lead the Panthers. Robbins will bring it in for Clinch. He'll give it up to Talbert. Jeremiah with the ball now, he's looking, he'll pull up at the free throw line. Off the back of the rim, Robbins with the rebound. He'll put it right back up and in. Good job by Zach Robbins. 12 to eight, Rebels lead. Brown with the ball, he'll give it up to Powell. Powell with a long three, he'll miss it. Ingram with the rebound for Clinch. And it'll be knocked out of bound by the Rebels. Clinch will keep possession. Coach Terrence is gonna bring Khalil Jenkins in the game now and he'll set Nixon down. All right, Robbins is bringing it in. Got to hurry, got to hurry. He got it in, good defense by the Rebels. He'll get into Khalil. Talbert with the ball, boy, he liked to slip down. Trying to set his pick up. Robbins long three up and in. Good job by Zach. He was hot the other night. He hit four the other night, Robbins did against Wilcox. Makes it a one point game. Nope, they're going to say he walked on 24. That's Powell. So that's going to get us to a first timeout. Axon County 12, Clinch County 11. We'll be right back. Camping World of Eldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. Roadside assistance and travel assist for one year. All right, we're back here in Clinch County with the Rebels leading the Panthers 12 to 11 with 3.38 to go in the first quarter. Panthers in white, Atkinson in red. Zach Robin to bring it in for Clinch. He'll get it in to Jeremiah. Jeremiah setting the offense up. Talbert will pull up at the free throw line. Oh, they said it. Said he was palming the ball, so 
The good shot, but it was a turnover. So the Rebels have possession. Brown will bring it in for Axon. Powell with the ball now. Good defense by Clint. Rebels will pull up. Good shot there by number two. That's Williams. 14 to 11. Axon leads now. Jeremiah's looking. He'll drive, pull up inside the free throw line. He'll get his own rebound. Back to Robbins. Robbins hit a deep three just a second ago, so they're coming out. Getting on him now, Coach Terrence. Shouting his offense up. I think we got a foul on number two. And that's going to be Khalil. That'll be his first foul. Rebels have the ball. Williams with it. He'll give it up to Powell. Back to Williams. Powell thought about taking it. There's a long three by the Rebels off the back of the goal. We got a rebound, 24. That's going to be three fouls on Powell mm, in the first quarter. They're going to have to set him down. We still have two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Ingram with the ball for clinch. He'll give it up to Jeremiah. Oh, they said he won't. Another Panther turnover. So Powell will set down and the Rebels will bring in number 20, which it favors. Here come the Rebels up by three. Boy, he thought about it. Williams was wanting to take that one back to Williams. Panther playing good defense down low. Williams to pull up. Now he'll give it off off the back of the rim. Good rebound in there by the North Cut. He'll get his rebound. Let's see what the foul is. Two white. Mm, that's going to be foul number two on Khalil. That's going to put North Cut. Nope, he's not on the line yet. Rebels keep possession. I don't, one white, that's going to be Talbert with a foul now for Clinch. Long inbound pass. Rebels get it down low. Oh, he'll throw it away. He was, got it down to Brown. Ingram will sit down and Nixon will come back in for, nope. Nixon will come in for uh, Khalil. Clinch with possession now. Talbert with the ball. Clinch down by three. Late in the first quarter. Jeremiah looking, he'll give it up to Robbins. Robbins drives, he's gonna say he was palming it again. He turned it up second time. The Panthers have done that. Here come the Rebels. Williams with the ball. He'll give it up to Favors. Back to Williams. Oh, boy. They're calling. He's going to say he walked. Here comes Talbert now. He'll give it up to Jeremiah. He'll drive in. He'll pull up off the front of the rim. Good save out there by Williams. Or Brown, I mean, he'll give it up. Williams drove in trying to get it. 32 with the rebound. Good block in there by Nixon. Oh, they're going to say walk on number five. Here comes Jeremiah, set up a long three off the back of the rim. <clears throat> That's going to get called on Nixon. Nope, ooh, that's Ingram. Number four on the back. Foul number one on Ingram. We're stuck here, 14 to 11. Nobody has scored a basket in about three minutes. 
Oh, like the lost it, good save there by the Rebels. Favors with the ball, he'll give it back to Williams. Williams back out. They'll lose it, Rawls will lose it out of bounds, number five. Panthers the last to touch it. Mm, Williams with the ball for the Rebels now. 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Long shot by Williams off the rim. Nixon, it bounced off his shoulder. It'll, Rebels will keep possession. Ahmad Simone or Simon will come into the game, excuse me. 25 for the Panthers. Rebels with the ball. Up by three. Trying to get it down low. They do finally. Nixon fighting for a rebound. Good job by the big man. Powell got down there. There's Robbins, another long three off the front of the rim. Ingram had to rebound. Jeremiah turned, get it. Nobody for the last three minutes could get a point. So after one, Atkinson County 14, Clinch County 11, we'll be right back. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. All right, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're live here in Homerville as Clinch County host Axon County with the Rebels leading here to start the second quarter, 14 to 11. Rebels have possession, they're in red, clinches in white. Good, rebound in there by Williams. Panthers will knock it away, Nixon will, but the Rebels will keep possession. Oh, good job out there by Brown to keep it. Rebels throw up another one. Big rebound in there by 32. Nobody can get it to fall on either end. Here comes Clinch now. Jeremiah, he'll pull it up. Both teams just playing good defense and nobody can get it to fall. Five seconds, another Panther, both teams turning it over. Rebels with the ball. Rawls will bring it in. He'll give it up to Williams. Williams back down to Brown. A long shot. He'll miss it. Both teams fighting hard down low. Talbert with the ball now. He'll drive. He'll throw it up, and it partially blocked in there by the Rebels, and here come the Rebels. Good pass down low. And that... It, that Good foul there. That foul's going to be on Simon. And that's going to put Rawls at the free throw line for the Rebels. Nobody has scored in about four minutes. There it is, finally. 15 to 11 now, the Rebels lead. Rebels is going to bring in number 25, and that is Myers. Shot number two on the way. He'll miss it. Nixon with the rebound for Clinch. He'll give it up to Jeremiah. Talbert pulls up again off the back of the rim. He's 
Can't get it to fall tonight. Here come the Rebels. Good pass. Left-handed layup in there. Great job. By Rawls. Boom. There's a big three. Finally. Jeremiah. Good, still in there by Simon. He'll give it up to Ingram for the Panthers. Ingram, oh, it's going to lead in there. That's going to be a charge. That'll be foul number two on Ingram. 17 to 14, Rebels lead the Panthers. Great basketball game here in Omaville. Up and down the court, Coach Terrence is going to bring in Khalil again. He has two fouls. Here come the Rebels. Williams with the ball. Mm, he'll give it up to Favors. All the way back out here to five. Mm, in and out. That's going to be a foul on 25. And that is Myers. His first tonight. Coach Terrence George wants a quick timeout, so we'll take a timeout. We'll be right back. 32nd one now, Daniel. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town. We can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We have a tight game here. Atkinson County 17, Clinch 14. Talbert will give it up to Nixon, up and in, good pass. Good job by Talbert. He went all the way to basket and got it out. A long three by number 20. In and out, Nixon with the rebound. He'll give it up to Jeremiah. Panthers have yet to lead the whole game. Jeremiah at the free throw line. Up and in. First lead tonight for the Panthers. 18-17 now. Rebels want a quick timeout. We'll be right back. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. All right, welcome back to Creek Box. We come back a little early. Rebels got the ball. Powell went down there and he got fouled by number 25, Simon. Coach Terrence has got... He's bringing in two. Robbins will come back in the game along with, I don't have 14's jersey number. Or I don't have his name for the jersey number. All right. Powell up and in. Tied ball game, 18 to 18. Great basketball game here tonight. It's just what you expect from the team right up the road here in Axon County. Oh, big rebound in there by 14. Nixon trying to put it back and in. Oh, and they're going to call jump ball. Rebels with possession. Coach Terrence was wanting a foul. 
We got a good crowd here tonight. Y'all can hear them getting loud. Come the Rebels, he'll give it back up. Nixon fighting down low again for the rebound. Talbert with the ball. Here come the Panthers. We're all knotted up, 18 apiece. Clinch has led for about 20 seconds. The rest of the time, it's been all Rebels. Robbins, he'll take an extra step. He had it. Drug his foot. Here come the Rebels. Number five will bring it in. That's Rowles. He'll bring it in. He'll give it up to Powell. Back out to Williams. Down low to the big man. Oh, and they're going to call him with a foul. Myers. That'll be his first foul. Called blocking on him. Robbins will bring the ball in for Clint. So we've run off about two minutes with nobody scoring here in the second. Here come the Panthers. Talbert driving all the way to basket. Number 22, good job by Northcutt to get his hand in there and knock it out of bounds. Robbins will bring it back in under the basket. Another good defensive play by Williams for the Rebels. He'll knock it back out of bounds. Finally get it into Jeremiah. Jeremiah will shoot a long three in and out. Thought that one was going to fall. Here come the Rebels. Talbert trying to knock it loose. Turn around, jump shot. Talbert will get the rebound after Powell miss. Talbert driving, trying to lay it up. Can't get it to fall. There's a lot of bodies down low. Robbins will take the charge. No, they're going to call it on Robbins. Mm. So that will be Robbins' first foul. And that's going to put Powell on the free throw line. He's trying to complete the three-point play. And he does. I thought it was going to roll out. 21-18 now, Rebels lead. Here comes Talbert. He'll give it up to Jeremiah. Oh, and he did. Coach Terrence don't like the call. Referee thought he double dribbled. Coach Terrence is letting him know he didn't like the call. Powell give it up to Williams. Back to Powell for the Rebels. There's another three. He'll overshoot it. Oh. And it's going to roll off Williams' foot so Panthers will keep possession. Robbins will bring it in to Talbert. 21-18, Atkinson lead by three. Talbert trying to drive again. He will all the way to the basket. He cannot get it to fall. Trying to get, I think Coach Terrence is telling him to drive down there, trying to get him in foul trouble. Nixon with a big rebound. He'll give it back up to Talbert. Oh, great job by Williams for the Rebels to intercept it. He'll take it all the way to the basket, in and out. Another rebound by Nixon. Nobody can get it to fall now. Robbins will get rid of it to Jeremiah. Great defense by the Rebels. Jeremiah's driving in. It'll come up short. Panthers cannot buy a basket. Good pass. Oh, and we're going to have a foul on Jeremiah. Hard foul. He got him up. He got the ball. Oh. He called a tech on Jeremiah. Hard foul in there. Rawls went to the. They'll shoot two. Jeremiah was going for the ball. He got ball and body. He got both of it. So the Rebels are getting to shoot two free throws and possession.
They didn't call the check to begin with. Kerry, let me ask my special guy right here, Kerry Kite, was the tech after the foul or during the foul? So that was, I didn't see him do that to begin with. I didn't know if it was that. All right, Kerry said it was an intentional foul. Rebels will shoot the first one, he'll miss it. They'll, okay. Second one up and in. Good job there by number 20. That is, let me find my sheet. That is favors his first basket tonight. Rebels up 22-18, and they'll keep possession. Oh, good job by the Rebels. He'll pull it up, can't get it to fall. Talbert with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Talbert, another fall back. It comes up short again. Oh, we got a foul, one and one. Who is this one on? 22 for the Rebels, and that'll be his second. That is Northcutt. That'll put Talbert on the free throw line. See if he can break the ice right here. Up and in for Keyshawn. 22-19 now, Rebels lead clinch. Brown coming back into the game. He has two big threes tonight for Axton County. Shot number two on the way. In and out. Myers with the rebound. Here come the Rebels. He'll kick it back to Brown. Oh, in and out. Talbert with the rebound. He's pushing it down the court. He'll take it all the way. No basket. What they called here. Foul will be on number two for the Rebels. And that'll be Williams' first foul. Talbert, first shot up and in. Second one on the way. Up and in, good job by Talbert. One point ball game now. Atkinson 22, Clinch 21. Here come the Rebels. Just inside the three, up off the front of the rim. Talbert with a rebound. Clinch fighting back, they can take the lead. They've led for about 20 seconds tonight. Talbert with the ball. He's going to drive in again and try to throw it up. Can't get it to fall. Oh, big hard lick there by Robbins. We got a foul. Man, Robbins going to have to go get his neck popped after that one. They're going to call that on Khalil. That's going to be three fouls on Khalil tonight. First shot up and in for the Rebels. That's Williams. Come shot number two on the way. Up and in. Rebels back up by three, 24-21. Talbert with the ball. He'll give it up to Jeremiah. Jeremiah step back, long three up and in. Great job by Jeremiah. Ties it up, 24 piece. Here come the Rebels. Long three by the Rebels off the rim. Khalil with the rebound, he'll give it up to Talbert. Minute and 10 seconds to go in the first half. Talbert dribbling, pulls up, up and in. Finally gets one to fall, 26-24. Panthers lead now. Here come the Rebels. Only the second time Clinch has led all night. Rebels, he'll walk. Myers will take an extra step. Robbins will bring it in for the Panthers.
Coach Tarrant shouting out his offensive play. Here comes Talbert. He'll give it up. Jeremiah's driving in, trying to use the backboard in and out. Oh, man, they thought it went out of bounds. Nett down there saying, I've seen it. Okay, the hustle back to Jeremiah. He'll lay it up in and out. Great hustle by both teams. Jump ball called. Panthers keep possession, 25 seconds. Man, some great basketball here in the last 30 seconds. Nett was down there refereeing. It did look like it went out, too. Robin bringing it in. He's looking, needs some help. Finally gets it in. Robin turned around just inside the three, up, in and out. Robin's tipped a good job by Robin. Up and in for the Panthers. Simon with the basket. Clinch up by four now. Long three, look out, off the back of the rim. Jeremiah with the ball. Robbins throws up a long, oh! Almost got it to fall. What a basketball game. That's gonna get us to halftime. Clinch, 28, Atkinson, 24. We'll be back in just a little bit. Winky's Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winkies will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winkies Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. And then a Monkey Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim. Coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Aldosta, 
you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Winky Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winkies will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their quest for another state championship. Go Panthers! For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. Jerry J's Hog and Bones in Homerville is the restaurant for any time of day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or that special holiday meal. From pancakes to pulled pork and chicken salad to ribeye steak, Jerry J's Hog and Bones has the best food and service around. Oh yeah, and don't forget our great catering service. Go Panthers! Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? 
All of our menu items come with the Southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. And then a Lockheed Walker Jones. You know Walker Jones is the automotive superstore. But did you know we're also the super service center? That's right. With more than 56 bays, Walker Jones does as much service on all major brands as all the other service centers in town combined. And we're loaded with experienced professional ASC certified mechanics to get the job done right the first time. Hey, I'm Jim. Coming down to see us for service at the home of the Lifetime Warranty. Lifetime. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. Roadside assistance and travel assist for one year. everybody we're back here great box i'm give out of breath these bleachers are high oh i had to run in daniel was waiting on me great basketball game clinch leading 28 24 here to start a third long three by the rebels good rebound by nixon in there for clinch here comes robbins he'll give it up to talbert he'll pull up in and out man he's once he gets hot, he'll be all right. He just needs one or two to fall for him. Here come the Rebels. A long three. Off the edge of the rim. Robbins trying to get it. Good job. Oh, no. They're going to call that on Ingram. <laughs> Me and Kerry had to run out. We'll run back in Ingram. That'll be his third foul. And that's going to put Myers on the free throw line for the Rebels. I want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be back here tomorrow night that we'll be in Statenville. Eccles County. Clinch will travel over there. First game's at 6. I told Daniel we're going to stop halfway and eat at McDonald's. <laughs> All right, second shot for Powell on the way. Off the edge of the rim. Oh, we had a lane violation down there by Nixon. So Powell will get another attempt. Here it is, on the way. And it's up and in. Good job by Powell. Five points tonight for Powell. Clinch leads, 28-25. Jeremiah pulls up right at the three-point line. Good job by Zach Robbins to run it down. He'll give it up to Talbert. Talbert again will drive, trying to lay it up. Can't get it to fall. Here come the Rebels. Oh, reverse layup. Good job in there by 24. Powell couldn't get it to fall. He'll throw it up from the outside. He'll hit that one. 
A one point game now. Clinch 28, Atco 27. Here comes Jeremiah with the ball. A long three off the front of the rim. Jump ball. Khalil has to be careful. He has three fouls already. Robbins will bring it in for Clinch. He'll get it out to Talbert. Both teams are playing some pretty good defense. Coach Terrence setting the play up. Talbert to get rid of it. He'll give it to Khalil. Back to Robbins. Look, he thought about taking the three. He'll drive in there. He's got to get rid of it. Good pass by Robbins up to Nixon. Great job. Four points tonight for Nixon. Clinch back up by three, 30-27. Robbins drove to the basket. Tried to get him to take the bait. He didn't, so he found Nixon wide open. Pull up jumper. Good job there by number two, Williams. One point game again. Here comes Talbert. There's a three. Up and in. Good job by Talbert. Thirty three twenty nine clinch leads. There's a three by the Rebels off the front of the rim. Good rebound by the Rebels. Another attempt. Boom. This time it falls for Powell. A one point game again. One team will hit a three. The other team will come back and hit one right behind them. Talbert with the ball now. He, oh, he was trying to do the pass. Said he was out of bounds. Clinch will keep possession. Oh. I got to give a shout out. I can give Wade a shout out. I know he's watching the game. I'm sure he watched the girls game for sure with his son, Coach Chase's daddy. Want to give him a shout out. I see Miss Carla and her bunch sitting over there. All right, here's Tolbert with the ball for Clinch. Talbert looking, he's gonna drive again. Lays it up and in. I told you once he started getting them to fall. 35-32 now, Panthers lead. Rebels come right back down to court. Back to Powell. Mm. Williams with the ball, he's looking, looking. He'll give it up to Powell again, there's a three. Off the backboard, up and in. Two threes tonight for Powell. There comes the Panthers back up and in. 37-35 now. Two point game. There's another long three by Powell off the back of the rim. Good rebound by Williams. We got a foul on Clinch. Foul on number one, and that's going to be Talbert. That'll be his second. I need to give a shout out to Lexi a while ago. He's watching the game. Go Panthers. And Robert Ganey's watching. Let's go Panthers. All right, man. We appreciate y'all sending in a text. That's a three. Tell you what, the Rebels have come out. That's the second one for Brown tonight. Atco back on top, 38-37. Clinch. There's Jeremiah with a long three off the back of the rim. Good rebound by Khalil. He'll get it back out to Jeremiah. Pull up jumper off the back of the rim. Here come the Rebels. Clinch led for the about four minutes. Now here come the Rebels back down to take the lead. Trying to add to it. Another long three. Boom! Up and in. That was Rouse with the three-point shot. 41-37, Rebels lead now. Clinch will miss. Here come the rest. Good job by Khalil. Tried to knock it away. 
Powell with the ball now. Rebels have come out and hit four threes. There's another three by Powell. Up and in. Four tonight for Powell. Coach Terrence said that's enough. I'll take a timeout. We're going to take one too. We'll be right back. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll, 912-490-7142. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. Mm, let me get my peppermint out. We're here for some boys basketball game two tonight. Clinch County girls won game one against Atkinson County. Clinch led, but the Rebels have come out the second half on fire. They have hit four three-point shots this half. Here comes Jeremiah with a three. Oh, off the back of the rim. Robbins with a big rebound. He'll give it up back to Jeremiah. Good job by the Rebels to steal it. Myers will steal it. Long three off the back of the rim. Nixon with the rebound. Here comes the Panthers now. Jeremiah tries to lay up. Good rebound in there by the Rebels. Myers with the rebound. He'll give it up. Push it down the court. Turn around, jump shot. Robbins with the rebound. He'll push it down the court. He'll give it up to Ingram. Ingram will lose the ball. Williams with the ball now for the Rebels. He'll give it back up to Powell. That's another three. Boom! He got it again. Five for Powell. Ten-point lead for the Rebels now. Coach Terrence. I think it's taking a 30 second timeout. No, we got a tech. A tech is called on 24, I think. But letting them know he made another three. I tell you what, he's shooting the eyes off that thing. So the Panthers will get two free throws and possession. Jeremiah hit that one. They'll cut the lead to nine now. Second one on the way, up and in. Good job by Jeremiah. Nine points tonight for Jeremiah, and Clinch has possession. Panthers could cut it to six right here. That I mean, the Rebels have come out and hit five threes. That's 15 points. Jeremiah's dribbled, he'll come back out. There's Jeremiah with the three point shot up and in, good job. Two for Jeremiah tonight. Here come the Rebels. There's Powell, he's calling him out. He's gonna drive it this time, tried to go behind his back. Good job by Jeremiah to steal the ball. 40 seconds to go in the third. He kicks it out to Robbins. I don't know what we got called. We got a foul down here on, on number two. That's Williams. That'll be his second foul. Clinch will keep possession. Powell come take him a break now. He needs one. He's at 12 points in the third. Robbins will get it in to Jeremiah. 30 seconds to go. Jeremiah, another long three off the front of the rim. Rebels with the rebound. Oh, went right off, Rebels have it. There's another long three. It'll bounce around. Good rebound in there by the Rebels. There's another long three off the back of the rim. 
13 second, I guess they call it a three second violation. Good hustle there by the Rebels. Number three, that is Brown. Clinch will keep possession, 11 seconds to go now in the third. He'll throw it into Jeremiah. Jeremiah will drive all the way to lay it up. And he'll draw good job by 32 in there. Myers, he'll draw the charge. So that will be uh, bu -bu -bu Jeremiah's second foul tonight. All right, here come the Rebels. Six seconds to go in the third. Coach Terrence will make a sub. He'll bring Ahmad Simon on. Three, two, clock running. One, long three. And the buzzer got it. Great job in there by Williams. Big three. The Rebels cannot miss. So that's going to get us to the fourth quarter with Atkinson leading the Panthers 50 to 42. We'll be back in just a second. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Handy, along here with my buddy Daniel. And we are bringing you some great boys basketball tonight. Atkinson County has traveled to Clinch County and they lead by eight, 50 to 42. With Powell hitting five threes in the third quarter. Oh, Pearson will keep possession. Here comes Nixon back in the game for Clinch. Fourth quarter. 50 to 42. That third quarter went by fast. Here come the Rebels. They throw it out. That's where they've hurt the Panthers this second half is not right at the three-point line in the NBA three-point line. I mean, they have hit some deep ones. Now they're going to choose some clock. They've led about 70% of the game. They're just playing keep away now. Rawls will give it up to Brown. Brown will dribble through. This time he'll kick it out. Good shot. He missed the whole basket. Good block in there by Nixon. Panthers hanging on. They need a basket on this possession. Robbins setting it up. He'll drive. He pulls up. Little jumper. They said he traveled. So that'll be a Panther turnover. Fifty to forty-two, Rebels up by eight. Here early in the fourth, Williams with the ball. He has it. He'll dribble back across half court. He'll give it up to Rawls. Back to Williams. Williams will drive all the way to basket. Tries to lay it up. We got a foul. Foul will be on number four for Clinch, and that is Ingram. That's going to be foul number four on Ingram. Still 6.35 to go in the game. First one up and in. Good job by Williams. Williams has 10 points tonight for the Rebels. He hit that end of the third quarter three. It was almost a half-court three. 
Second one on the way, up and in, good job. 10 point lead now for the Rebels. They're gonna start pressing now. Panthers need a ba basket, bad on this possession. Talbert looking, another good steal by the Rebels. We have a foul on 32, I think the referees called it on 32. And that'll be foul number two on Myers. Robbins will bring it in for the Panthers. He'll give it up to Talbert. Axon playing good defense now. We got a travel, he did, he picked it up. Good that defense is what's causing all the travels. Here come the Rebels now. Panthers gonna start pressing a little bit. Williams with the ball. He'll get it across to half court. Williams takes it all the way to basket. Good block in there by Nixon. Do they call it on? And they are gonna call it on Nixon. That'll be Nixon's first foul though. Panthers are without Kinlaw tonight. He hurt his knee Saturday against Wilcox. Nixon's a young kid, he stepped up. He played a great game tonight. He's getting better each week. Good shot in there by Williams, another bucket. 53-42 now, 11 point lead. Is he gonna add to it? And he does. 12 points now, Panthers got to have a basket here. Talbert drives in. Referee's gonna call the foul on Rawls and that'll be his first. That'll put Talbert at the line. Panthers have yet to score here in the fourth quarter. They hadn't scored in the last three or four minutes. See if Talbert can break the ice and he does. Shot number two coming on the way. Up and in, it'll cut it back to 10 points now. Here come the Rebels. Panthers need a turnover. Williams with the ball. Good pass by Williams. There's a three. Nick, oh, Nixon at it. Trying to look and see, they're gonna give it to Clinch. They said it went off an of Axon County player. Here comes Talbert, he'll pick the dribble up. Oh, Khalil had, he was open. There's Robbins, a long three up and in. Good job by Robbins. Second one tonight. Robbins with eight points. He'll cut it to seven. Oh, he tried to revert it and got it again. Williams did good, pass there by the Rebels. Off the backboard, Myers with the bucket. Lead back to nine, here comes Talbert, he's gonna drive in, he'll use the backboard, can't get it to fall. Khalil with the rebound. So they got a push. See who they're calling it on. 32 red, that's foul number three on Myers. Mm, 5.03 to go in the game. Panthers needing a basket again. Oh, there was Nixon, he had him for a second. Zach will get it in. Here comes Talbert, back again, reverse layup, got it to fall. Lead seven now, Rebels lead 56-49. Panthers need a stop. Here's Powell, you got to stay on him. He can shoot. He's hit four threes this half. Oh! Talbert sticking on him. Rebels chewing some of the clock off. They have him trapped. He'll give it up to Williams. Williams will drive in. He'll take it back out. He'll get rid of it. Good job. Rebels playing keep away. They'll get it back across to Rawls. Rawls will give it to Powell. 
Zach will come back and steal the ball. He'll take it all the way, lay it up and in. Good job by Robbins. Cut it to five now. Panthers trying to make a run. Powell with the ball. They get it across half court. Here come the Rebels. He'll lay it up and in. Williams with the basket. Back to seven. Robbins hit the last five for the Panthers. He's going, oh, he was setting up a long three. Didn't take it, though. He thought about pulling the trigger. He didn't. Rebels is going to back it back out and chew the clock again. Here comes Powell. He'll drive in. He right at the free throw line. In and out. A big offensive rebounder. Up and in with Williams. Back to nine now. Dauber to pull up. Jump shot. In and out again. He fights for his own rebound. Get a timeout. Jump ball. Ingram's going to come back in the game for clinch. Coach Terrence will get a timeout. With that, we'll take one, two. We'll be right back. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town. We can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're here, man, a great basketball game tonight. The Rebels lead 60 to 51. 3.07 to go in the game. Panthers were wanting the ball. They finally get it in. They got possession. Pull up jumper by Talbert. He can't get it to fall. Robin pulls through with a big rebound. He'll give it up to Williams off the front of the rim. Robin fighting again. Ingram with the rebound. He'll give it up to Talbert. Panthers needing a basket. They've shot four times and missed four times. Talbert driving in again. He'll get it to fall. Cut it to seven. Here come the Rebels. Panthers cannot stop the Rebels. There's one hit. Trying to get it almost to turn over in there. Good job by the Rebels. There's Powell. He thought about it. He'll pull up and drive. No basket. Oh, they're going to call the charge on Powell. Man, that's, four, that's five on Powell, I think. No, it's four. Nope, it's five. Powell will foul out the game. And he's got, Lord, let's see. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 17, 19, 20. He has 20 points. So he'll have to come out, sit down. Axon's coach and boy, he's mad. Talbert's letting it roll till he gets across half court. He'll pick it up. He'll take a long three up and in. Here come the Panthers back. Four point ball game now. 60-56, Rebels lead. 2-11 to go in the game. Panthers are going to press. Axton wants a timeout. With that, we'll take a timeout, too. We'll be right back. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Ah, 
right, we're back here. We told you at the beginning it was going to be a great game, and it has. Rebels was up by 12 just two minutes ago. The Panthers have cut it to four. Here come the Rebels. Panthers are pressing, trying for a turnover. They got it deep, though. Good job by the Rebels to get it down. Now they'll chew on the clock. Oh, Panthers had Williams trapped. He'll pull it back out. He'll give it up to Brown. Back to Williams. Wide open down low. Off the backboard, in and out. Robbins with the rebound. We have a foul on 32. That's going to be foul number four on him. And that is Myers. Rebels have played great basketball all night. One and one, that'll put Robbins at the free throw line. He can cut it to two right here. Coach Terrence is gonna bring 25 back into the game and that is Simon. Nixon will sit down. Nixon's come in and played a great ball game tonight. Ken Law's out, Nixon stepped up. Young kid, he's gonna be a great basketball player. Robbins first shot, up and in. Robbins with 11 points tonight. Shot number two on the way, up and in. 12 for Robbins. 60-58, 148 to go in the game. Panthers tightening up the defense. Here come the Rebels. Oh, good job, I almost lost it. Talbert still, I see, stepped out. Turnover by the Rebels. Oh, I don't know what he called. I think he said he pushed him out of bounds. Push on Talbert. That'll be his third foul. Panthers thought they had a turnover. Two point basketball game. Referees getting, they're having, talking at the scored box. Axon will keep possession. Here they go. Rebels, you got to get it in. Good job by the Rebels to get it in. Oh, in and out. In and out. Panthers have the ball. Jeremiah. 128 to go in the game. Panthers down by two. They need this basket. They were just down by 12. Talbert driving all the way to the basket. Up and in. Nope. We have a foul on number four. Let's see, I don't know what the call is. Who's the foul on? Foul is on, who's the foul on, Kerry? I'm trying to ask Kerry. The foul is on, I think, Ingram. He's fouled out for the Panthers. It was a push foul. Rebels have the possession back, two point lead. Good job bringing it inbound. Minute 10 to go in the game. He picked his dribble up. All right, good job getting it. Panthers tightening up the defense. Rebels need a basket. Under a minute now. Robbins reaches in. One and one. That'll be Robbins' second foul tonight. And that's going to put Brown on the free throw line. Brown has two threes tonight for the Rebels. But these right here is his biggest shot of the night. He needs this one. So one and one. In and out, Robbins with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. They can tie it up or take a lead. Khalil has the ball, he give it back to Jeremiah. Jeremiah back to Robbins. Robbins calling them off. Coach Terrence wants a timeout, and that'll be a full timeout with 42 seconds to go. 
Atkinson 60, Clint 58. We'll be right back. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Winky Southern Styles in Homerville is the go-to place for custom embroidery and vinyl transfer designs. Whether it's t-shirts, caps, or special Christmas items, Winkies will make it happen. Go by our location at 44 East Elna Street in Homerville and see Lenora for embroidery and vinyl transfer. Winky Southern Styles supports the Panthers in their... All right, Panthers with the ball, 40 seconds to go in the game, down by two. Talbert setting up the play. Panthers can tie it. Robbins pulls the jumper up. It falls. Oh, they said Robbins pushed off. That'll be Robbins' third foul tonight. But that's a turnover with 30 seconds. Oh, and that's going to be called on Robbins, too. That'll be foul number four. Oh, had the bucket and tied it up. That'll put the Rebels back on the free throw line. That's Williams, and tonight he has, let's see, three, five, seven, nine, ten. 10. He's got 16 points tonight. And the first one comes up short. Talbert with the rebound. Here comes Clinch. Talbert drives all the way in and out. Big rebound by Nixon, up and in. Tied up, 60 apiece, 17 seconds. Here comes the Rebels all the way, draws in, in and out. Nixon with the rebound. Panthers get a timeout with seven seconds. Oh my, what a ball game. What a ball game. Panthers were down by 12 to start the fourth quarter. Have fought back to tie it up, 60 to 60. Man, what a game. This is what you expect on Creek Box. Great Class A basketball. Both teams, the Panthers have scrapped back. Rebels come out and hit five threes in the third. It's just slowed down. I don't know. Four, I think. Carrie, that's how many they scored. I don't know. They scored 18 in the third quarter. Cause they hit five threes, six threes. <laughs> Man, what a game. Panthers are positioned to win the ball game. I don't know how, they've hung around. Robbins will bring it in. 60 to 60, seven seconds. Talbert with the ball. Rebels have to stop him. Three seconds, Talbert drives all the way, in and out. But he will draw the foul. Talbert's going to the line with nine-tenths of a second left. All he's got to do is make one. If he makes one, the ball game's over. Talbert shot the whole first half. He kept shooting, kept shooting, and he's come through the second half. First one on the way, up and in! Panthers have come back to take a one-point lead. They had a four point lead at the half. And then the Rebels come out on fire, hit six threes in the third. 61-60. I might would miss this one on purpose. Up and in. Panthers up 62-60. Rebels bring it in. He's got to shoot, the ball game is over. It was nine-tenths of a second left. He didn't have time to get it in. Man, what a game. We want to remind y'all to be back tomorrow night at 6. We'll have some more exciting basketball here from Region 2A. 
and I need to make sure, I want to make sure I hadn't said this all night. Daniel reminded me, subscribe for notifications, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way we can give you out notifications when the Panthers play or wherever we're at across the state of Georgia or Florida, we go anywhere. Man, but I'm gonna tell you what, our sponsors have made this possible. I need to give them a shout out, Winkies, Popeyes, and Dairy Queen. Lux Brown, Lee Engineering, Homerville Jewelers, Mike Golf Cart, Walker Jones Nissan, Camping World of Valosta, Burt CPA, Jerry J's Hog and Bones, and Huey's One Stop Pizza. Give them a call and they can hook you up with a pizza. Man, I'm Alan Hanley along with my buddy Daniel Munoz and we are packing up, getting ready to go to Statenville. We'll see you tomorrow at 6.